Hey guys, it's Tamia here and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm finally back with another back to school video for you guys today. In this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make all A's. Basically, some study plus organization tips and tricks for this school year. In my freshman advice video, I did mention to y'all that school is really, really important to me. And I know that may sound lame to some people, but yeah, I love school. I love going to school. I love learning new things. I love making good grades. If y'all don't know, I am actually currently salutatorian of my class, so that means I'm the second smartest person in the school. Basically, to just put it all together, I make good grades. But with making good grades comes hard work. So I want to tell y'all a lot of my different tips and tricks on how to make all A's, how to make good grades. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and let y'all see this video. So if you do enjoy it, please remember to give it a huge thumbs up and I'll subscribe to this channel and my vlog channel, which are both linked in that down bar below. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. So the first tip that I have for y'all is to attend class. You have to go to school. If you don't go to school, you're going to miss very valuable information that may help you. I understand if you get sick, I understand if you have a doctor's appointment or if there's like an emergency, but if there's literally no reason why you have to miss school, please do not miss school. The second tip I have for y'all is to be organized. This is one of the most important tips on this list. So first of all, you must use a planner to stay on track. You can put like when you have homework due, when you have different assignments due, um, when you have like a specific practice, if you play any sports. Basically just plan out your life from like top to bottom honestly and truly I really didn't start it um, start like consistently planning until probably the beginning of this year and ever since I've been doing it it just has made my life so much easier next you need to use binders and folders to store your notes and stuff like that um, this will definitely keep you organized especially if you're that type of person that loses work and stuff another thing is to organize and save your computer work one thing I want to recommend for y'all is instead of using Microsoft Word use Google Drive the thing about using Microsoft Word, the only thing is if you like use Microsoft Word at school and you want to like bring it home with you, it's really hard for you to bring it home because you can't obviously bring the computer from school to your house. Um, so if you use Google Docs, it's online and it's automatically saved into like the Google Docs system. So all you have to do if you log off at school, you can come home, you can pick up right where you left off. Another tip for being organized, I want to tell y'all to keep all of your return work, keep your return tests, return quizzes because I'm telling you teachers are extremely lazy they will reuse literally every single question on the old test like on the freaking final exam the third tip that I have for y'all is to be successful in class first of all you must do all the assignments do all your work don't miss out on any work because that little bit of work can help you like so much in the long run sit in the front of the class it's scientifically proven that if you sit in the back you're gonna have a lower grade than the people that sit in the front the next thing is to be on time I'm telling you you must be on time to every single class the most important information is given out at the beginning and at the end of a class so if you're like super late to a class you most likely miss some real good information another thing is you must participate most teachers go off by participation grades especially in like science based classes like biology or chemistry when you're doing like labs you really have to participate for a grade rather than doing the actual work for a grade the last thing I want to tell y'all is to communicate with your teachers definitely have a kind of a relationship with your teachers especially if it's like one of those teachers that really grades like super hard or that you know they're like super strict with their work and stuff so the fourth biggest tip I have for y'all is to take good notes so first of all I have be an active listener this don't sit there and look at them and just write stuff down actually listen and engage in what they're saying because it's going to help you the last tip I have for y'all is to take good notes in multiple colors if you take your notes in so many different colors it's gonna make reading the notes really fun and rather than just writing them in like black or just one plain solid color the fifth tip I have for y'all is to study smart. By this, I mean find a good place to study. Find somewhere where it's neat and tidy, where you can focus really good, where you won't be easily distracted by like your phone and stuff like that. 
Also, know your learning style. Know how you learn and know how you can retain information. The last tip I have is organize your time when you're studying. Um, if you know you have a really busy schedule, you need to know somewhere in that schedule where you can fit in where you can study. So if you have to wake up an extra hour early before you go to school just to study, then do that. If you have to um, study during the school day, do that. If you have to stay up an extra hour at night to study, then do that. Just make sure you organize your time good when you're studying. The last tip that I have for y'all is to know how to take tests. Taking tests are really important obviously because they can determine your grades in that class. If you know you're not a really good person at taking tests, I have a few tips for y'all. First of all, get off to a good start. Just kind of pace yourself. Don't really go too fast during the test. Another thing is to mark questions that you want to return to. Um, another thing that teachers like to do, like I said, teachers are really lazy. So sometimes like on the test, they all have one question that answers another question. If there's one question that you don't know the answer to, skip that question and go through the rest of the test because you might pass another question that answers the question to that question that you skipped. Now I know that sounds really, really confusing, but it does make sense. So be prepared for open book tests. Open book tests are really, really, really hard. Now they may sound really stupid, like an open book test is hard. You, they're literally giving you all the answers. Honestly, it's not. Um, people think that just because you're taking an open book test, you don't have to study. You still have to study for it because I'm telling you, I make worse grades on open book tests than I work, make on regular tests. Definitely still study for open book tests. Be prepared for them lists because they are no joke. So guys, that's all the tips on how to make all A's for this video. So um, I really hope y'all could get some some good valuable information from this little video I really hope y'all did enjoy it anyways I will see y'all in my next video so remember to give this video a huge thumbs up also subscribe to this channel and my vlog channel which are both leaving down below make sure y'all follow me on my social media which is down there below as well and yeah I love you guys and I will see y'all in my next video bye